Hello everyone, this is Ben from iPhone Builder. I wanted to create a video to show you how to use our iPhone Builder as reconnector. Um, recently we've been tightly integrated with ArcGIS Online as an Esri product. Um, so I wanted to create a demo to show you how to utilize this. So right here we have our integration page and we have our API Connect at the top. So the first thing you want to do is go into link here. And what this will allow you to do is log in with your Esri username and password. So you do have to have an ArcGIS online account. And once you log in here, which I will do right now, then you will be linked, iPhone Builder will be linked to ArcGIS online. Um, so what we have next is down here, form linking. What we wanna do is we wanna be able to take forms in iPhone Builder and push them into ArcGIS online as a feature service. So below here, we have the ability to do that. We have our whole list of forms. So I made a form here, it's called Esri Demo Form. And what I want to do is I want to publish that to ArcGIS Online with existing data. So I currently do have one record collected on my device with this form. So this record will go up and will be published on Esri. So what we want to do is we want to select this here and then publish with existing data. So now that it's doing that, I'm going to actually create another record. Test 2, Pine Street, and actually we are using pick lists here, so you'll see that the Esri connector also does support using option lists as well as many other types of data types, like the date field here. So we'll let this churn here and, and publish this onto the feature service. We'll select done here and get ready to sync this record up. Now it just completed, so let's go into the My Content tab. And we're actually going to refresh the page. So this is on ArcGIS.com itself. And you'll see that I just created this today, December 27th, as redemo form. And so I will open this up here. And in the meantime, I'm going to submit my one record I completed. And what we'll see is it already has one point in there, but it's going to have this other point here in a minute. So since I just synced that, it actually hits our server, and then it pushes it out and publishes it right on this feature service inside of the map. So we're going to add this to a new map. We're going to open up the map. And we actually will see that there are two records collected here. So here's one of the records. And then here is the other record collected, and they're actually in the same exact location. So now that we have these records posted here, and actually, sorry, it was lagging a little bit there. So now this is where the records are, up here in Northeastern. Um, so we'll see, this is the record I just collected here, and then this is the one I already had on my device. So that's the first thing that we can do with this. Also with the connector, we have the ability to import from ArcGIS. So you have a lot of maybe feature services on ArcGIS.com and what you want to do is pull them in and use them in iPhone Builder. So we'll go back into here and we'll look at the My Content tab. And these are all of our current feature services within ArcGIS.com. Once it loads up here. Alright, so then we go back into iPhone Builder and you can select import from ArcGIS. Now what this does is it's actually mirroring the My Content tab and it's only showing feature services. So let's use Steve Test and if you actually look in the My Content tab we'll see we have Steve Test there as well. So Steve Test and we select Layer here and now what this is doing is it's creating a form in iPhone Builder and assigning it to my user. Let me open up my device again and sync it up and it should download the new form that was just created called Steve Test. So it's downloading that form right now. Now we have that form here and you'll see it has all the fields that were all in ArcGIS Online. So I'm going to fill out some of this data here. My birth date, my age, how much water do you drink a day, two glasses, 
And then I'm actually just going to hit done. I'm not going to fill out the rest of these fields. Oh, and these are actually required. So what we have to do sometimes is you actually have to make a change into the form because some fields within Esri may be required. And they are not required in iPhone Builder. So we need to go back into the Steve test form here and make a quick change to this form. So Steve test one, I think was the name of it. And we would just want to actually uncheck the required flag for these two boxes. So now I'm going to go back and sync up this record. And it should upload onto ArcGS.com. And then you'll see the point there within the map. So let's open up Steve test again. The current record we are working on. Select done. And we're going to sync this up. So there we go. It looked like it uploaded that record. So let's go back into my content. And we will open up Steve test. And then let's open it and add it to a new map. So now that we have this map here, let's make sure it loads it right. All right, there it is. So now you'll see we have two records here, the one, just the one I collected. And then here's a different record. So this is how you use the iPhone Better Esri connector. And uh, let me just go back into the integration page and show you one last thing. So now we'll see if you actually get hit, search for Esri here in the form linking, we'll see that the Esri demo form is actually connected. So you can actually unlink this at any time if you do, do not want to continue pushing data to Esri, but we do, so we're going to keep it linked. And you see the same thing for the form that was called Steve, Steve Test 1. That is also connected. So we can unlink that at any time as well if we'd like. So this is just a short demo of how to use the iPhone Builder Esri connector. Please comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.